Welcome in Boneyard Garage. Today we're going to service the hydros on this uh, Walker Zero Turn. <laughs> I already got ahead of myself and I uh, took the deck off, which you got to take the deck off. But to get that off, you're going to see these two rods that stick out and then you got your drive shaft coupling right there. So, uh, you want to take, try to do this one here, that spring connects up in that slot. So you want to make sure pick up the grasshopper, pick up the seat. Once you get the seat up, that spring will slide right out of that groove right there. You see it's got a flat piece right there. And then on the other side of those two shafts that stick out, they go through this tube right here. And there's a clip right here that slides in. I'll make sure I'll videotape it when I put it back on. And you want to mark the drive shaft because, you see I put a mark right there. And right there. Because it only goes in one way. So, uh... After you take these pins out, this whole deck will slide right out. The chute will come with it, and it all comes right out. So, like I said before, once when I put that back on, I'll show you how it all goes back on. It's pretty easy. So once you get that all off, and uh, these are your two hydros. That's for your left wheel, and one's for your right wheel. So what happens with these sometimes is the fluid will break down, get old, and then they will slug on one side or the other, not go as good as they should. So we're going to give it a change. So after you get that off, I put this back down. I'm going to go up with my lift. Let's get it up on the lift here. Okay, so once you get it up underneath here, the drain plug would do the uh, right, the left side first because it's right here. That's your drain plug right there for that hydro. You want to take that out, get a catch pan under there and take that out. And the other one is way back on the other side of this dry shaft. But the same thing, once you get back there, you'll see. It's got the same drain plug. So uh, I'm going to get the pan and we're going to start draining them out. Okay, so what you want to do before you hit the drain plug is I take the, the fill plug, which is right here. And loosen that up with eleven sixteenths wrench. Now I don't take it all the way out yet, I just loosen it. Okay, that way it will drain faster when you get the plug out of the bottom. Okay, okay so now we we'll take the same 11 16 inch wrench and we will take the drain plug out. Got my catch pan under here. It holds about a quart, maybe a little more.
let that drain. It's pretty dirty. What we'll do is we'll do this one side first. And uh, I'm not going to tape the other side because it's the same exact procedure as this side. So I'm going to let that drain out. Once that's drained out, I will put that drain plug back in. And then we'll go up on top and I'll show you uh, what we have to do up there. So, uh, I'm not going to bore you guys with this thing draining out. Okay. So it's all drained out. I let it sit for about 15 minutes to just let it drip, but that's about all you're going to get out of it. We're going to go ahead and put the plug back in. Take 11 16 French. And you want to tighten it up. Not too crazy, kind of like a just regular drain plug on whatever. Your truck, your car, your lawn mowers. Give it a snub. So wipe off the extra soil and we'll leave that under there in case we uh, rip some oil from up top. Okay, so that's pretty much it for under here. And uh, we want to do the same thing to the right side hydro, which the drain plug is right on the other side of this dry shaft. Uh, it's easy when you take this deck off and you got a lift, you can get under there. But if you're doing it on the ground, even if you take the deck off, it's a pain in the neck. You would have to probably take this wheel off and uh, jack it up to do that one. But since I have the lift, I do it this way. And uh, that's your fan blower right here that sucks the grass up from the deck. And uh, that's what that plastic chute goes to. Cuts the grass, sucks it through that chute, and up into the hopper. Have you seen my uh, last video? I did a starter on one of these, and I had to take all this stuff out to get to it. So they're not really uh, easily easy friendly, I guess I would want to say, on working on these things. There, they are uh, compact. A lot of stuff in a small place. So. Anyway, it is what it is. So let's put the lift down. Turn it up off the safety. Noise alert. Okay, so once you get that done, you get your drain plug back in. This is your, your fill plug, which we loosened up. And this is your reservoir that holds fluid. And you got a cap, you got a washer, and a rubber boot, kind of like a master cylinder. Take that out. Set that aside. And you can see there's still fluid in that. And the reason why, they got a very fine screen on the back side of that, which we're going to take out. So that's left-handed thread. This screws into the hydro. It's got a left-handed thread. So you want to go, you know, righty-tighty usually, lefty-loosey. It's just the opposite. Sometimes you can do it by hand. This one I'm not going to be able to, so what I use is I'll try to do this one handed. Not a really good place to set the camera up. Let's find out. I did my pliers, oh, they're right here. 
I got these pliers from somewhere. They look like an oil filter plier, but I don't think they are. I think it's something to do with a pool company to get skimmer caps or something off. I don't know. Anyway, I just take it and I don't put a lot of pressure. And you just put it around here. And you just give it a little squeeze. Let's see if I can find a place to put you guys. Hold on. Keep it from falling. All right, that might work. Okay, I just put a little pressure on it, and it's only plastic, so you don't want to go too crazy. Let's give it a little, little turn. This one's really tight. They usually don't come off this hard. They usually pop off there pretty easy. So. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to put the cat back on. I'll give it a little twist this way. Maybe. I don't want to strip that cap out either. Nope. Gonna be stubborn. There she goes. Alright. There we go. That's usually not that tight. So we take this off. And on the bottom of that, there's a rubber washer O-ring. Set that aside. And uh, bear with me for a minute. Set up some paper towel. So we get that off. I'm gonna take the the fill plug out. Okay, so after you get that done, we'll take that reservoir that we just took off there and we'll clean it all out. So uh, I'm gonna set the camera up over there and we'll be back. Okay, so uh we got the reservoir on the bank, and if you look underneath it, kind of hard to tell, but that's a tiny screen in there. And it's almost impossible to fill the fluid through here into the hydro. It takes forever. So I'll show you how I do it. So let's gotta get all this cleaned up. I'm gonna take parts cleaner, clean all this stuff up, get all the nastiness out, and we'll be back and I will show you how to uh, fill it back up. Okay, so I have it all cleaned up, reservoir clean, uh, the boot, the cap. So once you get all that clean, you wanna get your oil ready, which Walker suggests in there their manual to use Mobile One 15W50 full synthetic. So if that's what they recommend, that's what we're going to put in. Because it says it right in your manual, if you have your manual for your walker. So this is your fill 
plug right there. You put a little funnel in there, fill it from there. But what I do is I pour it right into here because you fill it right to the top anyway. So I fill it until you just about see it here coming out, put the plug in. Then we'll put the reservoir back on and fill it up to the uh, cold line on the reservoir. So. Oil opened up. Try to do it one handed and not spill it. There goes the cap. Oh, you guys can't see very good. Let me, uh, I'll get it filled up and uh, we'll be back. Okay, so I got it filled up. It comes right out of the top of that hole. You see the oil there. So now we'll put that plug back in. You want to be careful. Make sure everything's clean around here. Just like changing the oil on anything else. No dirt or debris gets in there. So we will put the cap back in. And then you want to make sure... The rubber o-ring is in here which it is and then we're going to fill that once you got that filled up like that you want to take your reservoir screw that back in Snug it up by hand. Don't go crazy. You see how hard it was to get that off. So after you get that in, and right here, it's hard to see. That's your cold line. So you, we're going to put fluid into up to here. We're going to let it sit for a while and check it because that screen is very fine in there. It's going to take a while to drip out. And uh, we're going to fill it up to that line right there. And then we're going to tighten the drain plug, put the cap everything back in and uh, clean the hydro off so it only takes a little bit that's all that you need in there actually we are above the cold line a little bit which is fine because it's going to seep in there and after we run it we're going to check it again so we've got that there. So you want to go and put your rubber boot back in, your washer, and your cap. So now we're going to take a little parts cleaner. Oh, we got to tighten that plug. Almost forgot to tighten that plug. Let's do that right now. Take the 11 16th wrench. Get it in my other hand. And tighten that up. So I'm going to get some pots cleaner. I'm going to clean all that off. And then I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do this one off camera. It's the same exact routine as we just did. So after I get that done, I'll put the front deck on, take it for a little ride. Stay tuned. Okay, so I have the right hydro done. So we're all finished. Got new fluid, everything in it. So now what you want to do, we're going to, we're going to start it up, let it run for a couple minutes, let that fluid get circulating through those hydros. Get the deck back on and get the camera set up. See if I can videotape that. 
uh, and show you how that goes back on. So, all right, guys. Stay tuned. We're almost there. Okay, so to get the deck on, you want to roll it up. There's got wheels right here, and you got this chute right here. So you want to push the chute down, get it underneath. You're going to see a little guide right there. I don't know if you can see that camera lady. Right there. Get that under that chute underneath that. So after you do that, you got these, the dry shaft right here and these two rods that go in these holes. You want to make sure these pins are out like so. First thing you want to do is get those pins in there. So you got a handle right here. Slide it up. Kind of got to just finesse it a little bit to get that side in. Watch your fingers, you don't pinch your fingers. Okay, so once you get those in there a little bit, you see I got them started. There's your mark on your dry shaft that I made, one there, and one on a couple of here. We're going to try to line them in. So now we got to push the deck in a little bit. said and done probably should do this on the ground I will right, we'll be back I'm gonna get it leveled on the ground okay, so what I did is uh, put a block under my lift right here to level that out I got the pin started and I got the dry shaft started so once you get that done you want to pick up on the deck slide it all the way in like that like so. That will stay there. That's going to be good. So after you get that in like that, which is not going to stay there, you want to pick up on one side and start this pin back in. Like that. Once you get that pin in, you take these clips. Slide them. You can get right down here, camera lady. Slide them in just like that. One on that side, and we'll go do the same thing on the other side. Pick it up. Slide that pin in. Slide this pin in here like so. So after you get that done like that, we have to get this, this spring on. What that spring does helps you pick this up when you want to uh, change your blades. So to do that, the easiest way I found, pick up your hopper, pick up your seat, and go ahead and slide this flat piece right in here. Seat down, put your hopper down. And that's it. So we're gonna go out for a test ride in a minute and we'll see how it goes. We're gonna give it a little test run, see how it works.
that's it. Works good. This right side would barely work before I change the fluid. So that's how you change the fluid on a zero turn walker. Please hit that like and subscribe. Boneyards out.